Matt Rule, first season with the Carolina Panthers, on the clock at number seven. Who should they draft? Well, they should draft the best player available on their board because they have a lot of holes they need to fill. To me, at this spot, it'd be two guys. Derek Brown, the defensive tackle out of Auburn, or Isaiah Simmons out of Clemson. Those are the best two prospects left. They need help on defense. Yeah, I totally agree with you. It's got to be a defensive player, and those are two outstanding names that you just mentioned there, and I'd be totally agree. I would go Derek Brown. I think that's, that's why I had them take in my uh, mock draft and one of them, <laughs> one yeah. of the ten ones. Well, well, and then they were bad against the run, so it would make a lot of sense. Danny, your mock draft is right. Brady, you were right as well. Derek Brown must have been number one on their board. Matt Rule gets Derek Brown, the defensive tackle out of Auburn. Who has the most upside in this draft on the defensive side of the ball? Other than Chase Young, many people will tell you it's Derek Brown. Derek Brown got it. Derek Brown will be a double-digit starter. He is a force on the interior. Brown likely would have been a first-round pick last year, but elected to return for his senior season. He was again an absolute terror in the trenches, putting up big numbers while often commanding double teams against elite SEC competition. LSU won the national championship this past year, but I think their toughest opponent was Auburn, and the big reason why, Derek Brown. You always know what five is, make you always know where I am. Brown is a prospect whose competitive fire matches his elite skills. He's simply a dynamic force who will excel in whatever scheme fit he lines up. Brown is likely a day one starter and a difference maker right away. Unanimous All-American first teamer and the SEC Defensive Player of the Year, Derek Brown, goes number seven overall to the Panthers. I love Derek Brown. I mean, this guy is an absolute bully. It doesn't matter if it's the run game, the pass game. He's penetrating. He's getting up field. People made a big deal about his L drill at the combine. Get out of here with that mess. This is a grown man coming into a league that teams are going to have to prepare for, the type of impact he has. I don't know that he's going to be Aaron Donald, but he could be something kind of close as far as what I've at least seen on film at the college level and the impact that he has. So I love the pick. I think it's a good building block for Matt Rule in his first year, Danny. I love the story. Went back to Auburn for his uh, last year when he could have left early, decided to go back there, really worked on his game, honed in some of those skills, and you saw an absolute disruptive force along the defensive line. And maybe not the sexiest because you're not on the edge, you don't get as many sacks, but you saw a player who impacted the game, whether it was actually getting a penetration up the middle, whether it was going sideline the sideline covering a lot of ground from those interior spots. I love this pick. I think this is a great addition for Matt Rule. And you talk about a coach who wants to be physical with Carolina. This is a great way to set a tone. Yeah, some thought the Detroit Lions would snatch him up number three overall. Pete Frisco is one of those people that thought maybe they, they should have taken Brown over Jeff Akuda. Go with the big guy. So I got to imagine the grade is really, really good for the Carolina Panthers. It's the best grade of this board right now. It's an A+. Plus. Wow. I, I love this pick. I love this player. I think I think Derek Brown will be a force in the NFL. I'm talking, you mentioned Aaron Donald. He's a different type of player, but I think he can have that type of impact. When you watch the power, it reminds me of the late Jerome Brown. He used to play with the Philadelphia Eagles. He used to be able to push guys into the backfield. He is a power player, but you know what? Once he learns how to use his hands a little bit better, he's also going to be a really good pass rusher. Carolina wanted this guy. This was their target all long. They had him fall right into their laps. They have to be thrilled with this Derek Brown A-plus pick. Jonathan Jones, our NFL insider, calls Carolina home. You know the Panthers very well, covered them for many years. It seemed like uh, Derek Brown slid right into Matt Rule's lap. A perfect pick. Yeah, they're very happy with this. This is the guy that they wanted. Obviously, it was between him and Isaiah Simmons once Jeff Okuda went off the board. I'll tell you this. When they met with Isaiah Simmons at the Combine, one of the coaches with the Panthers and Isaiah Simmons had a bit of an awkward interview, and I was told that several weeks ago. As it got closer to the draft, that issue seemed to sort of die down. They weren't necessarily worried about that. They do like Isaiah Simmons as a free rusher, but he's a guy who doesn't really enjoy contact. He just likes hitting people people as they are just kind of standing there. That's what I heard from one Panther stores. Now, when it comes to interior disruption, that's absolutely what general manager Marty Herney wanted. He went back late during last season as the season was collapsing and crumbling around Carolina. They fired Ron Rivera, obviously, there at the end of the season. And they looked at 2013, 2014, 2015, when they were among the league leader in sacks. And where did those sacks really come from? The interior disruption. And they kind of figured if we can match 
Kawan Short with a fantastic interior disruptor. We're going to be able to push the pocket in an NFC South that has Matt Ryan, Drew Brees, and now Tom Brady. That is why the Carolina Panthers are taking Derrick Brown at seven. Want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis. No yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.